Hello, in this video I use an empirical data set to demonstrate the application of panel autoregressive distributed lag ARDL co-integration using eViews. Because of its wide application and quite frankly more realistic set of assumptions, I'm going to use the pooled mean group PMG estimator. So this is the panel ARDL co-integration model. In the blue we have the short run terms and in the red we have the long run representation the coefficient of which is the speed of adjustment and omega here is the fixed effects term and this is the idiosyncratic um, error term so unlike the dynamic fixed effects and uh, mean group estimators the pooled mean group which was introduced by Pissarra and Shannon Smith in 1999 imposes homogeneity in the long run coefficients in this ARDL model but it allows the short run coefficients in addition to the co-integrating coefficients to differ across the groups so in this example I'm gonna use four variables with hotel occupancy rate as the target variable the regressors are gonna be average daily rate real GDP and market capitalization and as you can see right here, the regressors consist of a mix of I1 and I0 variables, making the ARDL co-integration approach the right way to go. And so to make the verification of the order of integration, the first thing to do, of course, is to perform a panel unit root test of each of the variables, which I've shown in an earlier video in this series. However, right here, I summarize the steps. And in this example, you can see that OCR is not stationary at level, as you can see. We cannot reject the null hypothesis of unit truth. However, at first difference, as you can see right here, it is stationary. And therefore, OCR is stationary at first difference and is an I1 variable. So also our ADR, which you can see right here, and GDP, which you can also see right here. However, as you can see right here, market capitalization is stationary at level. And it is essentially because of this that we use the ARDL co-integration approach. So here's my data set on Excel, which I've uh, nicely color-coded the different groups, the cross-sections, that is, to delineate them. So I hope you like it that way. But anyhow, right here, we're going to go real quick to um, eViews and hook it all up. So I'm going to pull up my file right here in the folder and the quickest and easiest thing to do is to drag it across like so and voila click finish and no and there you have it. So right here as you can see eViews has already recognized this as a panel data set with um, the date range of 1990 to 2021 six cross sections 192 observations and so holding down the control key we're going to highlight each of the variables beginning with the target variable which in my case is OCR occupancy rates and then holding down the control key now we're going to click on the regressors ADR right here GDP right here and market capitalization right here in the order that I want them. You want to be careful to ensure that your variables are listed in the logical sequence that you want. So right click on any of these and open as equation like right, right there. And then next up is method and go down to PMG ARDL. There you go. And then choose automatic selection to allow the system to select optimal lags within the maximum lag specified in this case for if you wanted to kick it up a notch well drag this down and uh, go up some more but you want to be sure though that you have sufficient degrees of freedom if you want to extend the lags or you could also select fixed right here and then input your own lags pursuant to your lag selection criteria that you may have uh, done earlier but in my case I'm going to leave it right here at automatic selection and then go to trend specification and uh, get, select your preference here in my case I'm just going to choose none and then click on options right here to select your desired information criterion for model selection 
Now, right here, there are three choices, Akaiki, Schwartz, and Hannon Quinn. I'm going to stay with Akaiki right there. Now, it's advisable to state your chosen criterion in your paper now. So, we're going to go to Specification and uh, confirm all, all swell in Paradise right here and uh, OK. And here's our lovely output right here. So, the top part of the output comprises the dependent variable OCR, the estimation method right here, ARDL, the sample period from 94 to 2021, the total number of observations, 168 of them, and then the maximum number of lags allowed in the automatic selection, which you can see here, is 4. And the number of combinations of models evaluated within the lag limits of 4. Uh, down, right down here, you see there are 16 of them. And of course, not to forget, our dynamic regressors are ADR, GDP, and market capitalization. And then finally, the selected model is shown right here, ARDL4444, which is four lags for each of the four variables. And then this is followed by the output for the long run model right here. So recall that the PMG estimator assumes long run slope homogeneity. And so the model estimates one long run coefficient for each regressor, as you can see right here. Now then, let's go ahead and give this a closer interpretation by going to my PowerPoint right here. Kick it up right there. So now you can see right here that ADR and market capitalization have negative and statistically significant long run causal effects on occupancy rates. GDP, on the other hand, has a positive and significant long run causal effect on OCR. And so with this, we can say that if ADR rises, by 1%, OCR would fall by 0.37%. And likewise, if uh, market capitalization were to rise by 1%, OCR would fall by about 4.3%. So the causal impact here is inverse. Now, but GDP, on the other hand, if it goes up by 1%, we can expect occupancy rate to also go up and in this case by 0.64%. So right here is the error correction output in addition to the short run terms. So the error correction coefficient is the speed of adjustment and shows how quickly variables converge to long run equilibrium and for that to happen remember it should be statistically significant with a negative sign and that it is, as you can see right here. So this is the coefficient of the co-integrating equation. It's negative and it is significant at the 1% level. So what this is telling us is that about 0.11% of departures from long run equilibrium is corrected each period. And by the way, because this coefficient is, is negative and significant, meeting the two important criteria, we can also conclude that A, that the variables are, co are jointly co-integrated, and B, that the three regressors, ADR, GDP, and market capitalization, jointly Granger cause OCR in the long run. And so, where there's divergence rather than convergence, then this coefficient here is going to have a positive sign. And uh, we're going to be hard pressed to provide any meaningful interpretation in that respect. So let's go back here to uh, eViews and wrap it all up. So again, these are the short run results. Now recall that the PMG estimator allows the short run coefficients to vary across the groups. For convenience, though, eViews provides us with uh, average short-run results that you see right here. 
So to view group specific short run results, we're going to go to view and then we're going to go to cross section short run coefficients right here and there we have it. So we can then select a group to view by clicking either right here to inspect them individually or you can also go to the side and it pulls it up whichever one you want to talk about. So now in this respect you also are enabled to speak to the short run Granger causality running from each of the regressors to the target variable in addition to the group specific co-integration results which in so far as it's negative and statistically significant you can infer on um, the proper speed of adjustment. We can also review the model selection summary by going back to view and this time we're going to go to model selection summary right down here and you have a choice table or graph. Let's look at the table first off. So now based on the archaic key information criterion which is stored right here because that's the criterion we preferred we're going to look at the model yielding the lowest value which is ARDL4444. You can see that this is the lowest value. These are all in the negatives. So that's the model that's selected. In the same vein we can also examine the graphical representation of the model selection summary by going back to view and model selection and this time click on the criteria graph and it's going to tell you the same story in a different kind of way, in a pictorial kind of way. So this point right here which you can see the value is the lowest point corresponding to ARDL4444. So these are the ones, are other combinations that were examined in the automatic lag selection process. And that's all she wrote. Hope you enjoyed it and let's keep learning.